think it's time to give this thing a bit of a wash. <laughs> it's filthy. We took it out. If you watched the last video, uh, down some backcountry roads for some hiking and yeah, it's pretty dirty. Figured I'd give it a little bit of a wash because I need to install these pretty soon. The ditch lights, they're gonna look awesome. And I also got OEM spec switches, toggle switches for the interior to hook these up to. So it's gonna look awesome. This one's for spotlights. And then this one here actually is for rear lights. So that's upcoming. Pretty cool. There's gonna be a lot of really awesome stuff changing on the Tacoma soon. Actually gonna, it's actually gonna be crazy. Like it's gonna go from zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> gonna be changing a lot and uh, I'm excited. So I'm gonna give it a wash cause kind of more difficult doing videos on it when it's filthy. Realized I'm a little bit low on gas, so I better fill up. <laughs> but first, we need coffee. $55 filled up. Wasn't completely empty, but uh, getting there. There we go, nice and clean. Now I can do some installs without having to worry about it. All right, back home now and the truck's looking way cleaner. Which is nice, nice to have a clean truck. <laughs> I haven't even gotten it dirty that much. Some of you guys give me a hard time and say like, Gotta get some mud on those on those tires and get it out in the off-roading. But uh, hopefully soon, I think we're gonna do a trip in about a week. So I'm pretty excited for that and there's actually gonna be some other really cool stuff happening all back here, this area. It's gonna look sick, I can't wait. So usually when I get home, what I like to do is grab invisible glass or I'll use the Repel one to clean it if it's more dirty. Um, and then I'll use a proper glass cloth it's a little pro tip for you guys. After you wash your vehicle, if you don't want it to streak when you roll the windows down, you've got to wipe these windows out because there's moisture that stays in there. So get a good microfiber, kind of wipe them down, especially down here. And then the trick is once you've wiped it once, flip it over to the side that you didn't use, dry side, and just kind of buff it off and you'll get absolutely no streaks and it'll look perfect. So I'm gonna wrap it up here now guys. That's a little bit of uh, insight into my day, washing the truck up here, getting a coffee, you know, whatever. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.